watching the show for a while, you will know that coffee and chocolate are two of my loves. And now, Randy is bringing them together, just for me. Just for you. Trace. In one beautiful dessert. Oh, this, this dessert, it's like the little black dress of desserts. Oh. You, can, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, it goes anywhere, it makes you look like a star. Love it. It's like an effort of two, but mm -hmm. results of a 12. Okay. Right? Yeah. Everyone's interested now. It's like, whoa. Yes, so imagine so it's like, we gotta keep yes. going. Gonna go, right? So what imagine this. Gluten-free. Yes. And no bake. Oh. So we're gonna put it together in real, everyone's, yeah, I it's know, a, it's right? A, it's going to end up to be a, a chocolate tort, a chocolate espresso. Correct. Port, right? Three simple ingredients in the crust. We've got chopped hazelnuts, mm -mm. ground hazelnuts, mm -hmm. butter. Of course. You need butter to stick things together. Yep. And then a little bit more sticking together, some maple syrup. Nice. Okay. We have a cup. Feltus finest. Feltus finest. Oh, the best ingredients here. This is one of those things in life that, okay, the efforts are two, but you have to go out and you have to buy the best ingredients you possibly can buy. And that's fair. That's okay. If you're not going to be spending a lot of time actually doing the thing, at least get the good ingredients to put into the thing. One is this going to be the, this is the crust at the bottom? This is the crust at the bottom. I'm just going to put a little pinch of espresso in there. Oh, just because nice. we're going to go espresso right through. So okay. a little pinch in there. If you can transfer this to here yes. and try to get it as flat as possible, I I'm going to move that. on to the actual fillings. And the secret ingredient, Starbucks at home espresso. You can pick it up at your local grocery store into the cheesecloth. So you trust the name and you can have it in the comfort of your own home. And so you know that you're getting it every morning. Right? So now you can just buy it and do it at home. And if it's you already got it in both. the morning, you can have this for dessert. You ready? Yeah. So into the cheesecloth that goes, tied up tight, the cream's hot. What you're going to do is push it down in there and you'll just start seeing that cream kind of like getting a little darker and a little bit more espresso. Tracy, you've done a fantastic job Why, there. thank you. I was trying right? to make it so that there were no... Trying like, to make it so there's no holes. No but if holes, there is, right? you know, it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. And if you're not a baker like I am, I don't like to bake. Yeah, I know. But right? you do it a lot on the show, and you do it really, I really well. I like to cheat. Yes. And I like big flavors. So and we're that's talking we about like. the best chocolate in the world. Yeah. 78% yeah. from Switzerland. I've tried it, guys. It's good. Is it good? <laughs> yes. So we put that in. That's about Quality three cups, control. right? And the other thing is about this recipe, if you wanted a little like denser, just put a little bit more chocolate in. If you want a little lighter, that's you don't a lot. Have to do that. I would almost just eat this like this. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah like just I, fine. I, I like it already. Okay. It's good. Are you ready for this? I'm you ready. Watch this. Oh, you can kind of just see the espresso pumping out of there into the cream. And why you it's do like, it that way because you don't actually, you just want the flavor, right? I just right? want the you flavor. You don't want anything to come out. And I'm using the espresso because it's, it's supposed to be for short water, right? It's a darker roast. It's bigger okay. flavor. And now this is the fun part. Okay. You ready for the fun part? I'm ready for the fun part. You ready part. for this? Mm -hmm. Here we go, Trace. Hot cream, chocolate. Oh. That is as difficult as it's gonna get. You're so this is this? gonna melt your chocolate. This is gonna melt your chocolate. Then you're like, baby, I've been working hard all day. Oh, I've been in the kitchen so sweating good. and baking and doing my stuff. Mm -hmm. And all you're gonna do, it's kind of like magic, because right here, you're almost freaking out. You're like, I don't think that's coming together, <laughs> right? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> no, but yes, it, it's, it's supposed to have that feeling. Okay. And you just kind of keep talking, you keep yeah. doing your thing, you keep stirring. Right, and eventually, are you ready for this? I can see it coming together. I know, but now I'm actually starting to freak out. Okay. But I actually, In you know, real life, be right? patient, everybody. Okay. So you got a couple minutes, and then, oh, just keep it going from the bottom to the top. Now, oh. is it important? Do we care at all? Like, this chocolate should be like room temperature, and the cream's gonna be hot. Like, does it matter, or you, you don't want to put this in if it's chilly? You know, don't you have don't it want chilled. It to be room cold. temperature, room temperature is good, and then okay. hot cream. So the cream just barely comes up. Two. Oh my gosh, that right? looks amazing. There you go. I'm actually so now, almost speechless right now. I can watch you do you this for this? seven minutes. And I mean, like, I did say it was effort of oh. two. This is like the 1.5 of the two. This can is, you just right? Pour that into a so cup that's a little for stirring. Me? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to pour that. this into a giant cup for you. Ready? Mm. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, yes, baby. Oh, my star. Beautiful. Right? And then this is the hardest part. Ready? Making sure it's perfectly smooth. And you can tell how dark mm. that Starbucks espresso is, mm -hmm. right? You can just see that in the chocolate. And what you do is you fire that in the fridge for two hours. Okay. Okay? And then you come back and it's like, hello. Look at that. We're done here, right? Guys, it's beautiful. So, wow. Just gorgeous. Isn't that stunning? Yes. Now, I've got it marked out in the middle. A little secret, what you want to do is it's put beautiful. your knife kind of here and figure out where the middle is 
and then you go across and you go across. And so what we're at right now is basically four pieces. That's perfect. <laughs> I just gonna tee it up and you're gonna knock that's it out, so right? Good. So what you could do is you could do that in four and then you'd have 16, right? Yeah. Or what you could do is actually in three because some people are gonna get bigger, some people are gonna get smaller and you're gonna only have 12, but I'm not your gatekeeper. You figure out what you need to have for I know a slice. What I need to have. But keep in mind, a quarter. this is deep, dark, and, and it's going to be rich. It's going to be oh really no. rich, right? It's going to be right? super rich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Like, what? Okay, we're putting oh. this recipe at CityLine.tv, wait, wait everyone. Just one second. And then to cut that, yes. you have a little bit of a hazelnut espresso macchiato. So you have your espresso with some cream, mm. some hazelnut. This is so deep, so dark, so decadent. All you need is a berry, some and mint. And a little bit of icing sugar. Okay. Get it up for a second.